Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. In this tutorial, I thought I'd have some fun with outer glow, lighting, and texture. Here's the finished product of the one on the desktop version, which, and this picture is what I ended up when I did it in the iPad version, so if you want to see that, please check out that video. So let's get started. I looked up in Pixabay fire extinguisher. That was actually the link. But you could just type it into the uh, stock photos. Let's get rid of the name here. I created a mask around it so that once it was masked, then I right clicked. And I'll do that right now. In fact, I'll get rid of this top one. Then I right clicked on the one with the mask. And I say rasterize and trim. Now there's no longer a mask. It's just a pixel image that's see-through all around the back. So now what I'd like to do is go to layer, new fill layer, and I'm going to do a gradient fill from top to bottom. And I'm going to leave it for now in black and white. When I went to do outer glow, I feel like it's limited. So let me show you. If I go to effects and I say outer glow, it only could be a solid color first of all, and then I can bring up the radius and I can bring up the intensity, but this is as much as it allows me to do. Of course, I can lower the opacity but it, and, and change the color, but it's only letting me change one color, and I'm not crazy about that idea, so I thought, I thought about it, and I said, well, let's have some fun. Let's try a different method. So what I did is I duplicated that fire extinguisher, which is Control or Command J. I have a duplicate, and I hid the top one, and on the bottom one, I command click on the actual icon to select it. And after I selected it, now I went back to this gradient tool and I went top to bottom just like this. And now I'm going to change the color. So for example, maybe the top color, I just click that and I'll go here and I'll hit pick a red. And the bottom color I'm thinking maybe in the blue family. And let's add another one. I'm going to tap in the middle. And maybe that one in the turquoise family. Something like that. And I'm going to spread these lines out a little bit. Just like that. And I think that's I think a little more red on the top. Move that down. And I think that's pretty good. So now I'll do Control or Command D to deselect. And I am going to now go to the live filters right at the bottom here, right down here, and look for a Gaussian blur. And I'm going to bring up the Gaussian blur, something like maybe that. And now, if you look at that, you can see that now we have a color out of glow. Now we can do different things with this. We can lower the opacity or we can duplicate it or we can even change it instead of 100, maybe 150. Let's try that and gives it even more. So if I want to, I can also, if I want to duplicate that control command J, I can make it stronger. And then maybe on the second one, I could lower the opacity. So it kind of gives us a nice look. I'm just going to not do that for now. I'm just going to do the one. And so now we have this glow in the back, which I think is kind of nice. We can also change the blend modes. And as you could see, and I'm working off of black and white on the bottom. That could be changed too. But for now, I am still going to leave it on normal. So that alone is pretty different. Like I said, it gives you different colors with your outer glow. You could have changed the colors. You could do lots of different things. But let's leave it at that for now. And now I want to go for lighting. And I really want, I don't care so much about the lighting as I do about the texture. So let's go to live filters and look under lighting. And here's the lighting right here. And I don't know, I'll bring it maybe around like that. And I am going to bring up, oh, I want the lighting in front. I want the lighting to be on top, by the way. So here's my lighting right now. And I could bring it in make it stronger, make it less. But what I'm really interested in is right here, this texture. And I really like this. And I brought, I'm bringing it up almost 100%. And so I kind of like what it's doing to this picture. I'm going to bring this even out further to see how the glow can spread out there. Let me go back. I'm doing Control or Command minus to bring it out. And I kind of really like this effect. 
let's look at it now. It gives me comic book looking. I, I don't know. It's just an interesting piece of artwork is what I'm thinking of. I don't know what this line is here. Let me see if it's really showing it. So I'm going to go 100% and just see if that line is really there because sometimes it is there. So I don't know what that line is. Let's find out. So I might have done something and left a line there. And I have to find out where it's coming from. So, okay, it's coming from this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a selection with a rectangle. And I'm just going to go right on the outside of the fire extinguisher and control, I mean, control the command X and deselect it. And now let's see. And the line is gone. I thought that was cool. Now, another thing you could do is you can take that background and duplicate control command J and move it right above the fire extinguisher. Now there's one on top and one on bottom and change the blend mode to any kind of blend mode you want. I'm thinking to be hue or maybe color. I think I'll do color. There it is. So there's color and I feel like that's very strong so I can lower the opacity on that. But what it now does, it gives it more of the outer glow colors in the back and showing some of those colors in the front. And I think it's kind of nice. I can go less. I can go very little. And there are other things you could play with. I'm not going to go much further with this. I could go back to the sliding since it is live. And I don't know, maybe let, add, change a specular color. There's a green. See, I could change the whole specular color right there. Specular color just gives kind of a reflective look in a different color. There's orange. I kind of like this green too. I think I'll leave the green. And I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, please check out my iPad version of this tutorial also and have a great day. Bye.